Emerging into the bay at the southeast shoreline of San Francisco, the Islais Creek Valley and its surrounding hills are home to a diverse mix of neighborhoods, jobs, industries and infrastructure that are critical to the functioning of the city. The area inherited its ad hoc industrial character over decades, but as we come to grips with the changes we'll need to make in order to uh, adapt to rising seas, I hope we can start to think holistically about what's in store and what exactly is possible. industrial maker area uh, community and also environment. So I think the opportunity to reconnect people to the water, to have a place that's more human scale and, and more calm and protected. I have experienced um, increased rainfall in storms and I just see much heavier deluges of rain, um, I think because of climate change. Before modern times, Islais Creek was the area's largest freshwater body. As the city grew, it began to exploit these naturally wet flatlands. As industry and deep water port operations grew, paved surfaces and pipes replaced the natural flushing of the watershed. Today with climate change, these systems and the land they occupy are becoming increasingly strained. As groundwater rises, liquefaction risk during an earthquake will increase. With more intense rainfall, drainage networks will become more and more overwhelmed, compounded by sea level rise and storm surge, leaving the water with nowhere to go. So what can we do? Do we flee or do we fight? How can we find the space for water while allowing space for the growth of the city? By working together, we can find a way to deal with urban and climate stresses in an integrated way. So how can we kickstart this process? Where do we begin? At Pier 90, underutilized lands can be naturalized into soft shoreline to better handle storm flows, creating a new gateway park to Bayview and space for stacked vertical industry and working spaces alongside the iconic grain silos, kicking off a longer term naturalization of the creek's southern edge. At the southeast plant, natural treatment systems can be piloted along the creek, using wetlands to process wastewater and tying into a future decking of the plant itself, creating space for much needed recreation, open space and education opportunities for the neighborhood. Along Cesar Chavez Boulevard, existing vehicle yards can be consolidated and stacked in a future district facility creating space for a daily creek along its historic path and opportunities for living by the water along its banks. The San Francisco produce market will be modernizing in the future by incorporating additional functions. It can help kick off the creation of a future food and clean logistics district in the heart of the basin where production, storage, selling, and enjoyment of the area's products come together as a new destination in Bayview. Alemani Farmer's Market sits at a critical pinch point in the creek's flow. By rethinking this site, we can accommodate space for water doubling as a park, flanked by a new market and space for housing overhead, with adjacent parcels underneath the freeways doubling as parking and water reservoirs. And at the Bayshore, lands circling Warm Water Cove can help extend the city's waterfront network into the southeast, providing a platform for a new innovation dock, where local business incubators, research facilities, and experiments in resilient floating architecture form a hub of innovation for the city. Over time, each of these pilots can grow into a coordinated long-term strategy for adaptation of the area, hyper-natural and hyper-urban, the Islais Hyper Creek, a model for adaptation and rediscovery of the 350 creeks ringing the San Francisco Bay.